Hey, uh, my name is Vishal. I'll just show you how to create mesh primitives in uh, Blender software. Uh, firstly, we have this add menu here and then from there we can create the mesh primitives. So right now I've got a cube uh, sitting in the center. Just delete that. And then what I do is I just go to the add menu, mesh and then choose this primitive called plane. And then you get the plane model at the you know origin or at the cursor part. I mean let's say if I delete this and then you could see there's a cursor here and then I just uh, move that cursor from this point to that point and I moved just by holding shift and right click and then the, the cursor will be placed where you click the cursor there. So once that is done when I go to the add and then just create the plane and then see the plane sits at the cursor point not at the origin point. However, you can reset the cursor to the origin for that. Press Shift S and then you get a menu and then you need to choose cursor to the world origin. So the cursor goes back to the center. Meanwhile, I can delete that and then press Shift A, Mesh and then create a plane. When I create a plane and if I have to adjust the, uh, the values or certain things about the primitive, I can go here and then click to the uh, to this option called add plane and then you got the size here so uh, right now the size is two meters I can enter five and that becomes five and then you have location which is used to adjust the position of the object sorry and then you got rotation where I can just enter 90 and then it rotates 90 degrees from there uh, you can delete that again and then just check with the other primitive. So right now I've got this cube. Again, cube has got the same settings. That is the size and X position, Y and Z position and the rotation. So you can rotate them and move them like that. You can increase the size also. Meanwhile, you can just uh, select that model. Uh, sorry, this feature here called wireframe where you could see the wireframe of this model. So this model uh, subdivisions are uh, just one. That's one problem we have here. So uh, there are uh, other ways where we can generally add, you know, uh, subdivisions to it. That is maybe by going to edit mode, selecting all the edges and uh, just choosing subdivide and then adding more subdivisions to it as required. Uh, so I'll just go back to the object mode and then uh, choose the other primitive which is the circle okay this is a simple uh, circle which is not a polygonal uh, mesh okay I can just move and then rotate and you should see it's a circle it's a curve basically so I go to this mesh and then choose UV sphere UV sphere has got uh, a sphere which is having uh, cube shaped and triangle shaped sorry uh, quad shaped and triangle shaped polygons and then we have segments here to control I can control the subdivisions of uh, axis and uh, also the rings you can control the radius of the model and later you could see the location and uh, the rotation of the uh, sphere so generally once you create this from there you can modify something else from there by using or accessing certain uh, tools. So I'll just go to the other primitive which is Icosphere. Icosphere uh, doesn't have uh, that quad shapes. Uh, you could see it is made with all triangles. You can increase the subdivisions there or you can reduce them. You can increase the radius. Again you have all that uh, basic uh, uh, location and rotation values then you got the cylinder so you got the vertices of the uh, axis and then you got radius then you got depth uh, cap fill you got n gone you got nothing and then triangle uh, fan so you got that three options there and then you got the positions as as usual then you got the cone 
then again you got the subdivisions you got the radius of the bottom you got the radius of the top then you got the depth again you want to uh, close it okay that subdivisions triangle fan and gone or nothing so you can choose that from there then go, we got the torus model so you got again subdivisions to control it is very important to just have a look on your um, so if you see uh, basically it is all about how this uh, uh, torus uh, dimensions are controlled so one is uh, this particular circle and another one is this particular circle so when I'm increasing the circle of this radius of this circle is getting affected and when I'm adjusting this radius of this one is getting adjusted however I can just choose the other option and uh, it works in a different way okay and you got the subdivisions again uh, sorry the location and rotation values as usual let's go to the grid uh, this is a plane where you got the subdivisions uh, to be controlled uh, unlike your regular top plane here so plane doesn't have subdivisions while while grid will have a, a subdivisions grid is also a plane but you can have subdivisions to be controlled So you got that lines there. Then you got the monkey. Monkey is basically a, a iconic model for the Blender software. You can just uh, uh, see this is uh, very popular uh, through internet. A lot of people use it for you know setting up some lighting or to show the materials and all that. Uh, however, if you want to you know start uh, something out of this maybe you can use it but it's only a special model which you could see in uh, blender software maybe it, it will help us uh, to you know teach certain tools and all that 